welcome back to another decathlon training vlog and today we are doing speed endurance so I say speed endurance but it's not gonna be very fast um, we're gonna do um, four runs so end to end back down back down back uh, we're gonna take about a minute rest between that we're gonna do four of those times two so then there's gonna be a big break it's gonna be like 10 minute break in the center then we're gonna do it again before that we're gonna do some warm-up and that's really it for a day then we're gonna do lots and lots and lots of stretching and a nice nice slow cool down just flush everything out uh, for the end of the week and um, yeah so that should be it uh, let's get to it so now that we got that out of the way we're going to do the rollouts before we do the, the sprints out there Okay, so I just did uh, a trial run of the workout that I made, pretty dang fast. Um, I don't know the exact measurement of this track, like is it 45 meters exactly or is it like 50 or whatever, so I don't, I'm guessing it's around 45. That said, I did some calculations and if I want to run my 1000 meter in 3 minutes, Right, 200 meter splits so have to be 37 seconds, which means 45 meters in 8.33 seconds. Um, so I'm gonna, I made a repeating alarm to go off every nine seconds. And let me tell you, that is pretty quick. So I'm gonna see if I can stick to that. If I can do that in nine seconds, um, that'd be uh, really good, so. I'm gonna set an alarm and basically start down here, run down there, alarm goes off, come back here, alarm goes off, and I gotta kinda you know, keep pace with that alarm. Um, so it's a really good exercise, I think, and uh, like a giant beep test, except it doesn't, doesn't slow down. It's just at an aggressively mean pace the whole time. That's tough. Ah. This really shows me how bad I am at pacing myself. Go out too hard. Then, then I try and slow down to get back on pace with the buzzer. Then I fall behind and I have to speed up again at the end. Not very good. But now I got a rest, a minute rest, and do some rolling while I'm cooling down. And oh, yeah, I kind of like it though. It's not like a a beat test where you're you know, speeding up every single time. It's brutal. But this is uh, you know, it's, it's a pacing mechanism instead of you know having because I'm sure I would end up going way too fast every time if I didn't have a buzzer going. Uh, so that's part of my problem in general with the longer runs always been like the 1500 I finished the 1500 every time and I feel like I have more in me I've never finished except for the very first 
1500 I did. I, uh, I've always finished the 1500 with what I think is more in the tank, which is frustrating because, you know, I go out, first lap always feels good. Yeah, you get your, your second lap, you're like, okay, this is a hurting now. Your third lap is out there and it's, it's burning. But then you get around to the, you know, three quarters and you're giving it it's all and all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, I have more than I thought. So being able to have this pace and seeing where I can breathe and relax and not be pushing the whole time um, is good. Plus when you have to turn around and accelerate every single time, that's a lot more work than you would be if you're just running around a circle. So it's good. It's good. Four more of those, and uh, that'll be it for that. Then I'll do, I think I'll do some uh, plant drills with pole vault. No jumping at all, just plant drills focused on the bottom arm. Maybe do some uh, disc releases, but maybe not. I don't know. Disc isn't that important right now. So. Probably not. It's probably better just to do a nice cool down and take it easy. Finishing off my last day, I mean, it's gonna hurt my legs, I can feel it. I can already feel it in my calves, so. Yep. Overall, that was good, that was better than I uh, thought, because I did some runs, what was it? A couple weeks ago, with the, the younger kids, when they came in. And uh, we had to do down, back, down, back, and I was gassed at the end. So. Feeling good, feeling good. Okay, enough of that. I'll see you after I'm done. Okay, so. I'm finished running my uh, sprints, or sprint endurance. Uh, for most of them, like I said, I was doing nine second intervals for, I think, 45 meters. And uh, I, was, I was doing that quite easily. Um, my last one, I narrowed it down to eight seconds because my loop timer doesn't do decimals apparently. And um, I cleared that as well. And when I ran past my but when it was 31 seconds, so I put that into, you know, a 1K split for fun, and that would be a 236. <laughs> Don't think I can run that fast, but it's cool to see that, you know, there's there's the capability there, and and you know that is 190 meters ish, um, so. You know, <sighs> getting there. Next time I'll uh, run the whole thing at eight seconds, see how that goes. Um, but that's for next week on Friday, so don't have to worry about that for a bit. And um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna do a lot of stretching, and cool down. I might even just like walk on the treadmill for a bit because my calves are solid as a rock right now, so. Good to see progress, right? Incremental, incremental. That's all we're aiming for. A little bit and everything. Except for pole vault, we need a lot. Not a lot in pole vault, we need to fix that. But uh, everything else is uh, doing okay. Uh, excited for hurdle practice on, uh, on Sunday. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna go over my whole schedule in a video. I know not many people watch this, so mostly for myself but uh, yeah so it'd be a fun little thing to go over see what I'm actually doing and and by going over it it's gonna help me narrow in on the things that I am working on and why they're progressing and things that I'm not working on and why they're not progressing so we'll see anyways I think I'm just gonna sign off
here. So thank you for watching. This video is basically just me talking. Um, sorry about that. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so I know it said I'd leave you off, but I'm just gonna do some planting drills. So basically, because my left arm collapses, right? Normally when I jump, I jump, my right arm is tall, I jump, and then I end up like this. But lately, my left arm has been blocking a little bit, so I don't know like that, but it's still not enough. I need to create space like this. So, right hand pile on top of me, just a little bit forward. Left side forward, and I plant. And bend the pole. Walk me. Anyways, I just want to do a couple of those. Now I'm done.